What's up guys, this is the Brothers and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off where we left off, we have had a couple of fights in Brazil and then we figured, you know what, we're tired of being on the back foot, let's be on the front foot. So we're going to engage the remaining French forces in Brazil. So let's fight. Try and secure peace with the French Empire. Um, no, no. No, sorry, I misspoke there. Um, our plan is to sail to attack Paris. So that is not what we want to do. But I would like the region to take their island territories. And, and to be honest, I'm going to start having more of a position in the Americas. I may as well start to invest in removing the pirates. That would be a wise choice, I feel. So let's look, get up to the road. Um, let's put my rangers inside the house. You go something like that. Militia in reserve. Pikes ready to do something useful. Shrimmel's bodyguards hold steady. So I want to do this, spread them out just a little bit more. And I might run my militia out to here, just to extend my line for when that reinforcing army comes in. Although, to be honest, this army is looking fairly ragged. Because we've had a few turns, particularly when our famous pikes just tore through them. These men, these men that look like just... Oh, they're all looking to the. They're all looking at the ground in solemn reverence. But these boys have done a hell of a job. So, terrible shooting from the deadly cannons. Let's focus the native bows. But to be honest, once they get into range, they'll push me. So I may as well need to make sure my militia have fire at will. Um, I may even do something like this instead. Cast shot the native bowmen. Starting to engage because they've got musket range. There goes the canister shot. There go the bowmen. So reinforcements coming in. The Hessian line, strong unit, strong contingent. Um, hmm. Advance up. Let's fix it so they fit in the corner. So let's get my general's bodyguard in a position to do something useful. Let's get my skirmishes out to skirmish the bad guys. Not only online, charge in general. Same with you. We got the general, so we can set our line back up just fine. Pikemen, get them out of the way. General, start running, chase down. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about what's going to happen. Bows of my general. Fire all on, so these guys will hopefully engage the militia to the front. Let's 
The generals should be okay, but I've had a bad string of luck recently with generals. There we go. Continue to chop down the native bowmen. Let's go. Pop a little cauldron forming in the centre. What I could do is so much more cavalry. Okay, so pick. Let's infantry move up. Oh, no. Get my general back. Well, at least run him over towards where they're going to route because there's a militia unit coming after them. Ah, native bows, eh? bows at point blank range so they're probably good they are going to fill it quite a lot of my okay regular infantry good stuff so there's flanks folding so let's keep to be honest it's actually Keep pushing. I can deploy my general because the militia shouldn't shouldn't catch up. This main force in the centre is going it's heading towards my main line. It's probably going to find itself routing. We've got colonial line ready. There we go. Beautiful. Get the militia unit. Just leg it, general's bodyguard. See, it's my militia that I'm most concerned about with those. My militia cannot do very much. They very much require. They very much require the firepower that fire by rank can give. In which case, then I might run my general straight into them. Then, cards. We've won this quite handsomely, and I can always chase them down. Actually, there's no harm. Taking a small break to make sure we kill those to so commit the militia. Because the militia should be more than enough. With their colours flying. Some infantry to engage colonial line. Oh, they're actually coming back. Okay, let's just start a bit of a chain going on. Get these militia to go and start to engage these native bowmen. While I bring my general around on a bit of a flanking mission. Oh, but I'm going to sneeze. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, 
stage. Infantry charge up. Let's kill Killed enemy militia, enemy native bows. These are the most frustrating unit to fight. Firing into the combat. To be honest, get all of you guys converge on the colonial militia. Just charge in and let my general just chop away against the native bows. And then let's hold an artillery fire. Kill the native bows. Out of all of them, native bows are what I want to kill the most. Okay. Oh, let's just end the battle there. That was a solid enough victory, so we have we have an end turn phase to get rid of first. Good. Solid kills. What's that? Pff, nearly a f five to one. Nearly. Exchange rate. That's pretty good. Yep, they've fallen back. Uh, but I think I'd very much like this unit in Brazil. Yeah, to, to secure the French, these French territories, secure Martinique, and then start to secure uh, the pirate territories. Because now I have a now I have a good presence in the Caribbean. Uh, they they are more of a threat to me than I would want. Uh, they can interfere with my the running of my more than I would like them to. Well, they go <laughs> right on cue. Oh God. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of. Port Okay, so rather than upgrade this just yet, let's put a sloop just to occupy it. You've been blockaded. Okay, so Cuba. Cuba cannot export all these goods. Unfortunately, we are, but in a way it's good we're out producing it, but in other ways we're not maximizing the benefit. So there's not much sense in building up these plantations yet. Um, let's upgrade the military governor's barracks because this will be a bit of my seat of power in the Caribbean. Um, so, priority. Yes. This army, replenish. Bring out my own I'm native bows. That I can upgrade the logging camp. Parimbo build. Native warriors, I think, are cheaper than. Oh no, sloops are really cheap. 122. So let's not do that. Ready and waiting you. March on to KN. And just take Victory! it. And then we need to wait to see what these chaps do. They'll, they'll probably come and attack us, which is which is good. We build the magistrate, and let's build some basic roads, because this region is pretty damn uh, powerful. But if I'm going to knock out the pirates, I need to make sure my navy is up to snuff, because right now I can build forts. To be honest, that's pretty good. Go to fourth and fifth. Let's start to build thirteen colonies fleets. So if I am going to take the Caribbean, I'm going to need my ships in there to defend against the pirates and to want well, to defend against the pirates to protect my ports because pirate the pirates are currently interfering with all my enemies, like the French and the Windward Islands particularly, which is useful because it's blocking these guys from doing anything annoying. So if I'm going to depose the pirates which shouldn't be hard, there's only one of them, then I need to be able to replace their power. Sir. Oh yeah, 
yes, this is the army that's going to go. That's going to be shipped across to yes. Europa. Waiting for your order. So you've got some cavalry, and you've got the Worcester Regiment. What might be tempting? Because it's quite a big investment to send an, an army over. It's very tempting, because I'm not at war with anyone except Paris, to try and do a run to hit Corsica, take Corsica from New Spain and use this as my base of operations. Because then I could work against the French, I could work against the Italians, I could do, I could do lots of good stuff. You know what, that's what I'm going to do. Really risky, because I could probably get caught out by any number of things. So that's why... I could wait for that fourth rate, but ultimately I don't think it's going to be a game changer. Let's move the sloop out. So, I can't build an admiral. Andrew Hamilton, I could be sending you to your death. These fifths. Yeah, because they can't even make it to the <laughs> to the trade zones on their own. But we are getting lime juice. Oh no, that's the wrong. Oh, it's longitudinal watch. Uh, in which case then we could try to rush that instead of lime juice for now. There we go. We're sailing across. So the hope is I can spend a turn getting lime juice, maybe two turns getting lime juice, and then I'll be in Europe before it starts to kick in. And then I, I I just need to have more troops recruited in the main on the mainland because right now I've got nada. Cool. So then let's hit enter. I just need to do some solid. Oh God! Yep, yeah, there's a British army coming from. Right when I've sailed my army away. Okay, so I hope the British is going for Montreal. So I'm going to recruit forces in Quebec. Because it... Well, to be honest, it looks like Britain's going to declare war on me. Unless they're going to march through my territory and do something like attack the, the Native Americans which if they did then I would join the Native Americans um, because I'm trying to play as a more holistic uh, colonial empire because right now the natives are guarding our western flank we don't need the expansion inland we don't need it we're, we know what's there we're good we are allies with our American cousins we are not opposition Oh, pirates, go away. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Okay, so they're not coming at us. I'm more than happy just to let them sit there and be scamps, because right now I've got more important things to spend my money on. Um, but chiefly... I might actually build a militia unit to guard my dockyard because it's annoying I've got a sloop sat in here. I'd rather it just be military ships. So, let's upgrade that farm. So let's cancel that fifth. Start getting a string of fourths because that... Well, no. Okay, let's build one. And then let's start to pump out. Something that looks like this. 
because I don't know about you, but AI AI behavior shows this is a very bad thing. <laughs> it shows poor intent more than anything. Good, so let's move you over to probably some of these territories just to get rid of the influence that these damn Louisianans had on you. Because I think that should they should stay. Oh god, no, that was, that was the only thing keeping you keeping you straight. Oh, because they've got a damn missionary here. Let's upgrade the farm. Okay, swordsman money's been spent. Oh god, they're over there already. This is the gamble. Where to put my fleet? Because I don't want to keep them too far away or keep them too exposed. Because I'm not at war with the Barbary states. I want to have them somewhere nearby. Because the only person I'm at war with in this entire area is well, Genoa and Paris. So I'm hoping I can get away with it for a turn. Oh. See, that does make it, it is cause for concern. Ah, oh, the British are, the French are moving a fleet about. So we could be, be playing a bit of um, we could be playing a bit of tag. So I'll take French Guyana, they'll take one of my territories, I'll take one of theirs, they take one of mine. But that's okay, we should win that in the long run. But at least the French have gone. So the only thing go wrong in Europe is... Ooh, good, the pirate, good old Russia. Because Sardinia is perfect. It gives me course. Oh wait, has course given taken? I don't think it has, but it looked like they had uh, changed ownership. But I'm hoping it's just the end turn graphics. Unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Okay, so this is the fleet, so they could be about to take Santo Domingo. I mean, it's just fifths, but that's better than any army I've got, better than any navy I've got down here. So this sloop, I'm going to sail to. Nowhere useful, really. Let's sail you to here. God, they're taking the long way around. Because I can get rid of this, these buccaneers. But the port's still protected. Let's pick up a general for this army. Harry Barry. <laughs> Good old Harry Barry. go to keep them growing because that should be a decent force we should be more than capable of repelling these guys if they decide to be silly but the main priority now is to start building up our navy because acorn acorn is the start of our fleet so let's take this army and just wipe out the last yeah, just auto that. Shouldn't really have altered that. But mainly, the reason why I altered it, altered it is because I want to spend the last moments of this part in Europe. I want to do this. So I don't know what's here, but I think it's more of a 
momentous Waiting ending. Oh, I was about to. I wanted, I was going. I wanted to postpone so we could get them into a port, but there is no port. So let's get them in a French port. That'll keep them safe. Good. So the colonials are fighting in Europe, New Spain versus. Wait a minute. Anselmo Alvarez looks mighty familiar. So Andrew Hamilton, attack Corsica. Yes! I figured this would be more interesting. Thingy, the foothold in Europe. I have not yet begun to fight. Good old John Paul. So. Should be pretty simple. We've got a fully fledged, full strength army. And. They've got conscripts. Typical battle. So let's build up well, well effectively just build a gun battery. Um, put some troops out to protect the left flank and protect the guns, but our main effort will be our elite infantry clearing the town. Cavalry will skirmish the right flank. Our skirmishers will advance up the left. Andrew Hamilton will watch from the safety of the artillery. Is running good you're running I mean you guys advance up to here for now because this looks like where the strength where the main strength will be So much so, let's get the artillery to actually focus on other targets. Thank you, run everyone up into position. Then let fly. Pour it on. Straight into the conscripts. You guys run over here. You guys run over here. Oop. Run, 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 run. I want to see. Yeah, they just collapsed like a wet paper bag. These are just conscripts. And there goes the artillery. This is pick new targets, pick the targets that are entrenched. Some of the troops will probably come back. Let's 
get one of these rangers inside the ruins. These guys can continue to skirmish up the flank. So these conscripts are about to break. Well, they are. Although they are starting to cause mischief. Oh, they think they've got, they've jumped my cavalry. Sorry to say, fellas. Oh, the general's bodyguard wants to charge my grenadiers. Ourselves a good old fashioned melee fight. Okay. So we captured a building, that's this ruins. So we're engaging their forces up on the hill. This combat should. The generals. Do the general get involved in here? No. Okay, let's get this cavalry unit out because they're very peaky. Let's get the other cavalry out. Now all of the infantry is here. Two units of grenadiers, I don't think they've got much of a shot. Cavalry Agile. Yeah, they're done. My grenadiers should absolutely tear through the shooting of conscripts. You guys advance to fire over here, you guys advance to fire onto their existing positions. I mean, I mean ah, okay. There's a bit of a rack, there's a bit of a, a bit of a rise. To be honest, the Chief of Conscript is really putting up a fight. Square and my rangers run the other side of the square formation. Let's hold artillery fire. There you go. So now my skirmishers will be safe. And I've drawn their general into fighting. I think that should be it. Well, apart from the general, that is it. So let's, let's continue it, just to see if I can get my general in at all. Let's get him against... Once he's past my infantry... I'll go for these guys too. Maybe. No, they're not going to make it. Decisive victory. Damn right, a decisive victory. We've got more interesting having this sort of a fortress island. It's 
Corsica is our new base of operations. It starts to bring up interesting opportunities. Let's have a look at the Italian states. So they hate us, but they're on their own. Wait a minute. Clement the Eleventh definitely looks like the Russian from Peaky Blinders. Um, but Italian states have no allies, so we could lump. We could capture Rome, and Rome could be our staging point. If for Europe. Interesting, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the next episode of my Empire Total Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. Cheers, guys.